Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about connecting to uh, Scable server in PHP. So let's start. First I will go to this browser and we will download the required drivers. So P, uh, connect our PHP Scable server drivers and now here we will use this downloads. Then we will go down and we will click on this download Microsoft driver for PHP is given server. So it will start downloading. So it started downloading. So now it is downloaded. So I'll go and open folder. I will not open this, but I'll go back and now I'll copy it from here to our uh, driver folder. So I'll minimize this, I'll close this and I'll close this as well. So I have uh, created this uh, drivers folder here and inside this driver is another driver. So I'll paste it here. And now I'll extract all. I made two uh, drivers folder because we do not need all the driver. We will copy the drivers that we need. So I'll cancel it now uh, uh, we have all these driver drivers so we have to get the driver that we need so we'll go to XAMPP open XAMPP so for that I will come here search and uh, I'll uh, open XAMPP control panel and now I'll start this now I'll go to this browser and now here I will uh, as localhost is started so localhost a uh, host dashboard and then uh, dashboard and then php info dot php and it will show you the version of your php so this is 8.1 the php version and then you have to go down and uh, 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 check this threat safety which is enabled so we have uh, now if we go to our uh, folder drivers folder so if i go here now you can see that uh, with some we add, this is uh, par 8.1 but with some we have this ts and with some we do uh, we have this nts so NTS is for not thread safe uh, and TS is for thread safe. So we have thread safe. So I'll uh, select this one. I have a 64 uh, bit uh, operating system. So I will uh, use 64 bit this one. And then another one is uh, I'll click control and go down and then we have this this one one is pdo and one is php is cableless are we now i'll copy them both we will go back uh, to our desktop and now i'll paste it here now we need these two into our um, php xt folder so for that i will close this uh, i'll stop this as well and now i'll click on this configuration uh, and go to uh, php browse php so it will browse the php so uh, we need these two uh, drivers here so i'll uh, open this and now i'll paste it here so now we have it here PHP PDU is uh, will SRV 81 and this one a uh, 81 so um, we both we loaded both the drivers now I'll close it down now we need this uh, extension to enable in our uh, PHP INI so for that I will come here and open PHP INI so it will open it now I'll search here for extension now extension now I'll search here now we will have multiple extension here so now at the end of this I will uh, 
copy this this one and this semicolon means that it is not open and this means that it is open I will copy this one and I will paste it uh, here two times enter and paste now we will change these uh, PDO scale light to our uh, DLLs that we uh, pasted so far that I'll come here uh, we have that in our driver folder so I'll minimize this and uh, I'll uh, uh, minimize this as well and close this and we will go to our drivers folder so now we are in our uh, driver folder so I'll copy this so I'll uh, rename this I'll copy its name and now I'll come here to these drivers not these drivers but PHP i9 and now I'll remove this and control V it here and I'll put in dot DLL and now we will again go here and similarly we will we'll do the same part the second one I will control C this and uh, now we will close this and I'll remove this and I'll control V it here now I'll control S it so now uh, this is saved now uh, our drivers are installed so I'll close this down now we will go to our uh, this uh, Visual Studio code and I will create a new file new file and I'll name this con dot or connection dot php and now I'll con enter and now it will uh, uh, take a space so where I want to save it so I'll and you see and then zamp and then we need this in HD docs and I will create file now the file is created so now we will use uh, the PHP tags so PHP and then we will use this closing tag as well now inside this we will write code so first is um, our server name so dollar server name equals and here we will pass in our server name so I'll go to SMS and I'll click on connect database engine so this is our server name so I'll copy this and now we will go to here and we will paste it and now I'll uh, copy it here now uh, we will uh, use uh, dollar database equals and now we will use uh, our database so for that I will come here and connect and if I expand this database tab we will use this DB tutorial so uh, I'll uh, rename this and copy this and now we will go to this and I'll paste it here and now we'll put semicolon here now this is our database name then it takes the user ID so UID equal to empty because we do not have any user id and then we have uh, dollar uh, password so pass equal to empty because we do not have user id so we do not have any password now then we will use dollar connection uh, and for that uh, after connection equal to and now square brackets now I'll put semicolon at the end and now inside this it takes a uh, uh, double quote uh, database equals and then arrow and dollar database comma and then it takes the user ID so UID equals dollar uid and then comma and then double quotes and p w p w d password equal to dollar pass now uh, this is created so now we will mm, get to our connection so dollar con equal to scavel under uh, srv underscore connect and now here we will pass in the 
server name so dollar server name and dollar connection connection this one and now we will put semicolon here now we will check the connection so if uh, dollar con if not dollar con if not dollar con if connection is not established so do what control z this remove this so i'll use uh, here die and here we will pass in print uh, underscore r and here we will pass in the values skvl srv underscore errors and then we will pass in comma true and now i'll put semicolon here and now else uh, echo um, single quote uh, we do not need this single quotes connect establish and now I'll put semicolon now control is it and now let's run it so for that we will go to our browser and we will use uh, localhost and uh, then we will use con.php con.php so it is showing error because our uh, file name is connection.php so I'll use local host connection.php and now if I enter it is showing error again because um, our local host is not started so I'll go to zem control panel and now I'll start it now it is uh, starting so now it is started so now if I refresh this now con connection establish is printed so now we have created our connection so now we will uh, write a query and get uh, some data per, from our database so i'll uh, uh, remove this else and here i will use um, dollar t is cable equal to uh, select uh, static from uh, gender underscore table if I go here and show you the database and inside this database DB tutorials we have tables and now we have this uh, gender underscore table so which has these two records male and female so we will retrieve this now I'll go here and now I'll put semicolon here. Now here we will use a uh, dollar stmt equal to um, skvil srv underscore query. And here we will pass in the connection as well as the uh, t scale. So dollar t scale comma and dollar con and now i'll put semicolon here now we will use f um, a dollar stmt equals equals false then do what then echo uh, error and I'll put semicolon here and if this is not true if it is not stmt is not false then we'll use while uh, dollar obj equal to st scale srv underscore fetch underscore array small bracket and here it will take a dollar stmt 
comma skvill srv underscore fetch underscore and a double soc and now i'll control z this out of this and now i'll use curly braces now here we will get the data so i'll use echo and here we will use dollar obj and now here uh, square brackets and inside this i will pass the column name which is gender and uh, then i will use a dot and uh, inside single quotes i'll use a br br and now i'll put semicolon here now i'll uh, close the stmt as well as the connection so is cable is rv underscore three underscore is tmt and then we will pass in the dollar is tmt here and now then is cable is rv underscore close and here we would use dollar con and now I'll put semicolon we use uh, we have to use here forward slash not backslash now i'll control s it and now we will go to um, our browser and i will use here localhost forward slash connection dot php so now it is uh, showing an error on line 20 so we will go to our uh, code and check line 20 which is this one so dollar mstmt so is here query so it takes the connection first and then the t is cable so i'll come here and uh, put a comma here and now i'll dollar control z this dollar con and now i'll control s it and now if we refresh this let's see what happens now it has uh, uh, an error on this line 26 so we will go here again and check line 26 so this is capital h so i'll control s it again and now i'll go again and now refresh it again now you can see male and female are um, printed here so if i go here in this table and this gender column we have male and female so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you